Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and we're going to be working on our top-down shooter tutorial. We're going to be adding the health points, the mana points, and adding a cursor into our game. So let's roll the intro, and let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to be adding is the health and the mana points. So just to give you a quick overview, if we open up the object in it, we have a maximum mana and a maximum health points that we're going to be referencing. So we can close this and open up our character itself. And what we're going to be working on is the create event for now. We want to have the ability to know what our current health points are at. So we'll make a new variable called health points current. And we'll set that to the global health points max. We'll do the same thing for our mana. We'll say mana underscore current and set it to the global dot mana max. Next, we need a way to display this on our character. So let's switch over to the draw event. So you can see that we have the body, the hair, and the clothes. So what we need to do is we need to draw the mana, and then we need to draw the health points. Now we're not going to be using the regular draw health bar. I have a script that's already included. We go to our scripts and we look at the draw health bar thick. You can see that we're passing in an X and a Y coordinate the width, the height, the thickness, what color we want to draw, and then the percentage, and the percentage is going to be between zero and one. All we're going to do is draw a black outline around everything and then fill the inside with whatever percentage that we are currently passing in. So that means if we go back to the draw event, we need to figure out the percent for our mana and our hit points. This is pretty easy. We can just have a variable called percent. What we need to do is we need to divide our mana current by the global mana max and we'll do the same thing for the hit points except we want hit points current divided by the hit points max now this is going to give us a number between zero and one so that means we can use our draw health bar and remember we want the thick version so not the regular one that's included and we want to draw at the x position the y position of our character and the width we're going to say is 64 so we want it to span all the way from the left all the way to the right We'll give it a height of two and a thickness of two. And sorry, we'll use a color. So we'll say make RGB. Let's give it a nice bright blue color. So I'm gonna say zero, 150 and 220. And then we'll pass in the percent. Now, if I hit F5 right now, we're gonna see it be off from our character. So right now it's drawing at the center origin. So I need to move my health bar over and up, or I guess my mana bar. So let's do that. And we could just use uh, pixels for now. So I want to move it over 32 pixels and up 32 pixels. Now if I hit F5 again, you can see that it will be above my character. Now the next thing I need to do is add the health bar. So I'll just copy in the draw health bar thick. And instead of moving it up only 32 pixels, I'll move it up 36. The reason we're doing 36 is because the height of our bars is 2 pixels. So 2 plus 2 is 4. So 32 plus 4, we will we'll set at 36. And for the health, I'll use a bright red color. So I'll set the red color to 255, and then the rest to zero. If I hit F5 now, we should see a mana bar and a health bar. And you can see that I can move around and it will automatically stay with my character. Now, what if we want to move this mana bar or health bar up and down? Well, to do that, we'll add a new event. Let's do a key up and add the space key. Now in here, let's say we are gonna use the hit points current and we'll just take away one of the hit points. So if I hit F5 now, yes, this is gonna work and it's gonna look something like this, where it's just very, it's going really quickly. It's not really smoothed out. So let's fix this and add a little bit of smoothing in there. So what that means is in the create event underneath hit points current, let's also add hit points next and we will just set it to whatever the current hit points is when our, when our object is created. So we're going to be using this hit points next to smooth the value of whatever our current value is. Now, that may seem a little bit weird, but in the end, just hang with me. We'll go to a region and we'll set this up as hit points and make sure we're doing it in the step events. So all we need to do is we need to make sure that our hit points current is going to lerp between whatever the current version is and whatever we are supposed to be moving towards, whether it's a number below or number above, then we want to move by 20% each time. So that means instead of taking one away from the current, we'll take one away from the next, which in turn will lerp our value, making it nice and smooth. 
So if I hit F5 now, looks like I have my first error. It is not set before reading it. So let's go to the create event, make sure that we're using hit points instead of just hit point next. Now if I hit F5, let's see if this will work. So we have our hit points, our mana points. I can move around and if I hit my space key, hopefully you can see that it's going down little by little instead of just going quickly. So if we wanted to do something else, we could go to the step event. We could even make this smaller so that will decrease our health over time instead of going super quick. Now the next thing I want to do is add the cursor. I'll change that back to two just because I like that number. What we're going to be using is a new object. So we'll create a new object and let's call this one object cursor. And there's uh, two things that we need to do. We need to hide the current window cursor and then we need to show the cursor and have our mouse follow it. To hide this cursor that we are using in front of us, we can use a create event. We could just say window underscore set cursor and set it to none, which will hide this pointer itself. Now in the add event, we'll go to step. We can either do it before or after. I like to set them in the before. We'll set our X position to whatever the mouse X position is and set the Y position to whatever the mouse Y position is. Don't forget to set the sprite here. I believe we named it cursor. And we'll go to our room and we'll just go to the very top here and we'll set it in that corner. Now if I hit F5, we should have some mana, a health bar, and we have a cursor that our player is following. If I hit the space key, you can see that it's being moved down little by little instead of rapidly. One of the other things I like to do is go to my workspace, and instead of using just the X position equals mouse X, I like to use the lerp function to lerp in between these values. So we'll lerp in between the Y value, and let's also do the X value here. We have mouse X and mouse Y, and when I hit F5, all this is really doing is smoothing out our mouse position so it's not super jaggedy. And that brings this tutorial to an end. Now, I know it wasn't very fun. However, sometimes we need to get past some of the boring stuff before we actually can start coding some of the fun things. So I hope you stay with me and I'll see you in the next tutorial. This video would not be possible without some of the amazing support from the following Patreon users. Ian, Andrea, Robert, Annie, Edward, Manuel, Jujube84, Vil, Jesus, Victor, Ashby, and Paul. Thank you all so much for the support. If you have a request, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Thank you all again.